Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Welcome to the first episode of Beggar's Run Season 3. Now if you're not familiar with what the rules of the Beggar's Run are, generally speaking, it is a PvP rune-only character, but with a lot of extra twists to make it more difficult. If you want to see the full rule set, it's going to be in both the description and the comments, as well as there will be a season trailer. So any of those ways will tell you what you need to know. But the most important thing for Season 3 is that we are forced into being a mage. This comes with a lot of extra rules as well to make sure that we're staying true to this playstyle. But this is going to be very challenging due to us having extremely little mana to work with, especially in the early game. Stay tuned because we have some crazy stuff happen in our first episode. We can't kill this boss, so we're just gonna throw ourselves off the ledge. Our first order of business is getting one of the invasion fingers. Due to a previous run that I failed, I realized that we do not have enough mana to defeat Godric as of right now, meaning that I have no choice but to go get the Recusant finger instead of the bloody finger. Uh, does anybody know what Hat Fernandez is talking about? Maybe I'm just not thinking of it right, but I don't know which hat he's talking about. Oh, the cornucopia? No, that don't look like a wizard hat. Like, we, we, we have to have the drippy drip is what I'm saying. Also, guys, we're going to have to, like, no hit, have, like, no crimson tears, a lot of bosses, because we have so little FP. The first thing we need to try and get once we're, we have the invasion finger is we need to try and get Carrion Slicer as fast as possible. We need a win to get the scroll tied to it. And then we also, um, we also need 1,500 runes to buy it from the Turtle Pope, once I've given the scroll to him, the, uh, the Spellblade hat. Well, the thing is, is that, okay, I'm going to tell you guys my issue with every single witch hat. Ronnie's is way too big. Alberich's covers your eyes up. Uh, Rogier's makes you wear, like, a fucking balaclava on your head. Are there any others? Are there any other witch hats I'm not thinking of? Yeah, you're gonna prove that mage is hard mode. With this specific rule set, I'm not joking, chat. We have no... Our, hand, our life on this run, when we get to the actual people we're fighting... Like, we are relying on invading Stormvale and PvEers dying to random bullshit. That is literally our strategy to start out, because Glintstone Pebble and Glintstone Arc, with no Carrion Slicer, are fucking worthless in PvP. And that's a really important part of what makes the beginning of this run so horrible. The two spells that we have started out with are absolutely atrocious if you do not have something faster to mix them up with. But because we have to win invasions to go get things, we are not able to go get something just because we want it. We have to win the invasion first, and that's a little bit hard with what we have. You can just rock the sorcerer hood, that's it. But dude... Okay, look, here's the chat. Here's here's the thing, chat. I did not spend literally 4,000 hours creating Antebellum's face to cover it with a hood. Okay, buddy? So it's either we have a nice witch hat or we don't. But I will tell you this, guys. We will be at the point where we cannot fail this run once we can get the blessed blue talisman. So other than getting Carrion Slicer as fast as possible, the most important thing we can do is get the Blessed Blue Talisman. Because if we have a way of at least having technically infinite FP, even if it's over time, we can do it. Infinite FP at Talisman was a mistake. No, I disagree wholeheartedly. Um, the FP Talisman literally means you don't. You can make an honest build and you don't have a... Technically, you don't have that much of a disadvantage against people that have a dupe stash of Starlight Shards. Starlight Shards, other than Golem Arrows, are the most broken item in the game. And you finally can just have a normal character. And even though it is at a slower rate, you can have what a Starlight Shard dupe stash has. It's actually the best inclusion in the entire DLC, in my opinion. Call us all Puddin' Pop again. 
One FP for every two seconds, it's fair. I agree. I agree, Vash. I think it's extremely fair. It's not too slow, not too fast. It's literally a perfect talisman, in my opinion. While the Blessed Blue Talisman does not give the world's most FP that quickly, it is the way that we're going to be able to surefire make sure that this build cannot be locked out of defeating bosses. If you've looked at the rule set, you know that there's a boss quota for every single five invasions, and then a Remembrance boss every 15. We very realistically could get unlucky and not be able to kill bosses, even if we put everything we have into Cerulean Tears. So if we can manage to defeat Moog, and go get that talisman, we can guarantee that at least with time, we can finish the rest of the run. I personally am not interested in using editors, but that's just my personal thing. I think it's a smart thing to do to save time if you don't give a shit about playing the game. Okay, we got our first Dectus piece. Now we have to run over to Kaelin and get the second one. I kind of do need to do his quest. Chat, the one and only reason we need the Alexander Shard is because of the Regal Scepter. We're only allowed to use staves, and the Regal Scepter is the goat for its Ash of War, so we literally need this guy's thing. We're literally going to have to kick him in the ass like 80 times. I'm not joking. Bro. God, I wish that were me. Pitch, shut up! Okay, chat, DLC oil tier is in the flask. We got Jaeger and Fight Guy who's winning the twerk off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, no, I'm not reading chat anymore. Okay. As long as they can't fly up here, I don't mind that we're poisoned. We'll be okay. We have to rush getting the Recusant Finger. That's why we're doing what we're doing, Chad. In case you couldn't tell. At Jagerton. Did you really put an at symbol and put Jagerton like that's the name of my channel or anybody else's channel? Do it clap. Someone please kill him. Okay. Can you stop yapping, bro? Thank you. Since we can only kill Margit after our first five invasions, we're put in a difficult spot where we don't get to just rely on the PvE of Stormvale to kill new players. We have to somehow win with much less dangerous enemies out in the open world. Alright, first invasion. First invasion, guys. Can we... Pl we need people who have been playing for four minutes... We need to be able to hide in a bush and then just die to a squirrel. Oh, we're already screwed. It's not in Stormvale. Wait, they might be fighting giants. Wait, no, no. We can we can win this. We just need to wait until they get low and then pelt them. That's what we have to do. We just have to watch them and wait. No, that's not what I meant to do. I'm sorry, what type of latency? Damn it, we were too slow. No, please don't run away. I need you to not run away. <laughs> Let's just... Oh my god, what is that? No. Oh, it's so helpless. We can't lose! Oh my gosh! No! Don't run away. Let's try and, like, chase him back into the other giants. We can't die. Perfect. No, please, please, please. Yes! No! Fuck. Oh, he's running into more enemies. Perfect. Oh, the dog's gonna tear him a new one. Dog. Dog, do it to him. Let me slow him down for you. Get him, dog! 
Yes, yes. Let's get on the other side of him. <laughs> Stun him for the dog! How did the dog die?! With our dog dead, we need a little bit of a miracle to save this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, chat. First invasion was a, su was a success. Now, something I forgot to do before that invasion is throw away my PvE runes. It tallied up to about 70, so I go ahead and buy two throwing knives here to get rid of it by having spent 80 and then wasting them. Okay, it may not be much in terms of runes, but that is a win. Don't mage just start with a shield. I discarded it. Int Maxer's Rise. That is right. Now, we did just win an invasion, but part of our rule set is that we can only collect things for what we've won once we've defeated the boss at the end of the five invasions. So we'll get to it eventually, but not quite yet. This next invasion is two things. A perfect example of why the beginning of this run is so luck-based, as well as maybe the worst invasion ever. So, here's the thing. Let's... Let's take it slow. Let's not let them see the see us. If they see us, they may run away from what they're fighting. I think I see them in the fog. I don't want them to see me. Because the moment that they know where I am, potentially the jig is up. Our runes are so precious, we need Carrion Slicer. This run is dead if we can't get Carrion Slicer. Literally dead. It looks like these are the type of people that are not trying to fight the PvE. We might have a really hard time with this one. If they're the type that are going to run past all the PvE, we may not have a way of killing them. Since our two spells are so slow, we really need people who are distracted and willing to fight things, which it doesn't appear these guys are. They're just still running. Are you guys going to fight a single enemy? There's not a choice. We have to let the PvE do the majority of the work. We have so little. We have so little. If people try to dodge us, we can't win. If people know we're here and they try to dodge us, we can't win. We have to try and kill someone while they're fighting PvE. Running past the skeletons too! I'm trying to sneak, but the clap of my ass cheeks is alerting the bo the guards. Cortana. I'm trying to sneak around the Covenant, but the clap of my ass cheeks keep alerting the Covenant. You win if you space their attacks like you did with the noob. But the thing is, is that if they refuse to attack, because there's a lot of people that are like that, they'll see you're a mage and they'll refuse to attack then we can't win. Maybe they'll finally fight the Tibia Mar Mariner. <clears throat> They're running past the Tibia Mariner? There's no way. Fight it, motherfuckers. Do not run past it. What the fuck are you playing the game for? Fight something! Sergeant, do you suck? I do not. I could don't, okay? They're gonna find out about this fog wall and they're gonna be very sad. Don't blame them. Tirbia Mariners are cracked. No, they're not, bro. Boatman Hardest Boss, true. They're gonna be very fucking disappointed when they find out they can't get to this site of grace. I bet they're standing at that fucking zigzagged boss fog, not even knowing what's happening. Wait, chat, we might be able to win now. Wait, chat, we might be able to win now. He's 
sent his phantom home! He sent his phantom home. See, someone who just rolls we can't hit. We need him to decide to attack us. We literally cannot use a single spell until he decides to attack us. That's the only way we can hit him. I mean, I can hit him with the staff. <laughs> what the fuck is bro crouching for? Beats me, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, is that the staff does like three damage. What we can surmise about this person is that they're either a youngin, or they are a variety streamer, playing like this. Throw an attack at me, Brody! When are you gonna realize I can't hurt you?! Hit him with your fists? We literally have to. <laughs> oh my god! He's fucking quitting out of the game. Please don't. Maybe he's giving up. ATTACK ME WITH YOUR KATANA! Oh my god. Turn your ass around, you pussy, bro! Thank you! Bro, you- you- this is actually a variety streamer right now, just trying to speedrun the game. Spam Pebble, he isn't rolling properly. I have to save every last one of them for when he attacks. Every last one of them. I have to be able to kill him through what could potentially be full Estus. <laughs> oh no! Let's just make him think he can hit us. There's no way. There's literally no way. I can't hit him! This spell is so garbage! We have to use this one. Are there any, like, deer around that can hit this guy? Or ram, excuse me? <laughs> no! Stop healing! Actually have a pretty decent connection if that... He's rolling, no! Chat, this is literally helpless. I can't beat this guy. Oh, right, no poise damage, that's right. Wait, maybe he'll follow us. Maybe we can anger him. Yes. Come further back this direction. Get bonked. He rolled! <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, bro. Chat. Because of the boss quota, we have to endure this. Wait, guys, can the Tibia Mariner hit me? Bronson actually just hit a good idea, but it might backfire if the, the Tibia, America can, Tibia Mariner can hit me. This is literally the worst fight of my entire life. Tibia America, I know, I'm so smart. Thank you! Wait, that might have been his last one! That might have been his last one. Thank you. Oh my god. You're my hero. Sypho, you're my hero. He's my hero! Please don't DC. If you DC, I'll cry. Okay, who's out spacing with a sta staff, though? <laughs> G9 couldn't even think to do it. Teabag and point down. No, don't roll, bro. Let's see if the R2 breaks poise. Please do. It does. I love you so much. Sypho, please. We're, we're gonna get there one week. We're gonna get there one week. Oh 
<laughs> What's that range actually? Wait, is the fist overpowered? How do I have that much range on that? Oh my god! This is the one! Right, Cryo, we have light roll. <laughs> okay, we have like seven more. Twelve damage, baby! Made a sandwich. No, bro. He's he's wisening up. No, 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 no. He had another one, oh my gosh, and he was hiding it. Other than one final shot, we're completely out of blue. But the thing is, is he did chase us into the skeletons. So this really is a matter of will he stay in this area? No, that was our last one! Oh, he doesn't know about them regenerating. Wait, these are the best teammates we could have gotten! Yes! He has no more HP. He already used four flasks. There's no way he has more. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Just walk forward. J just literally walk by pressing the R1 button. I'm even afraid to attack him while he's facing away from us. <laughs> Chat, this is my only option. I don't have any more healing. <laughs> oh no, please don't. <laughs> Get the backstab, it's gonna do no damage. No, he's learned how to parry! This is me and you, Sypho! Bro, could one of these skeletons please shoot something at him? It's confirmed. Sypho, if you DC, I will literally cry. Don't do it. Oh my god, that almost killed us. Do you understand, guys, now why this is the hardest run I've ever done in my life? Do you understand now why this is the hardest run I've ever done? Yes! Yes! He's lagging! He could kill me! He's lagging! He could kill me with an out without an animation! No. He turned on the lag switch! Dragonfly! Dragonfly! I need you to kill him. I need the dragonfly to kill him. <laughs> this is so cursed. Sissy foe, please no. Please no. No, he, he quit out, no. I'm doing this just in case he's gonna do like a bazillion damage. No. You motherfucker! <laughs> it doesn't count as a win! Chat, that just added to the boss quota, but we didn't get a win. Oh my gosh! It would have just taken one more hit. Oh. <laughs> and my fucking homemade tacos are cold, bro. I can't with this right now. Oh my god, bro. We need PVEers that are that bad but are willing to fight things. Like, they have a warrior's heart. It needs to be people who have a warrior's heart, bro. This is a very diable place. Serenitize? 
I don't have it, but I can give you a deer. Thanks. I appreciate that. Is that right? No. Fuck. Don't start running now. Typo Dealer! That's actually such a funny name. Typo Dealer? <laughs> That's actually funny as shit. <laughs> That's some decent damage. That was two heals. He probably only has four in total. <laughs> Wait, this guy's cosplaying me, but he looks like Kermit the Frog. Not Kermit the Frog and a fucking guy with a great shield, bro. <laughs> Look at that no scope. Tell me I'm not the best mage you've ever seen. This is so hopeless. I need you guys. Okay, I need to run into the level and do nothing. I need them to die to the PVE. That's literally what I need them to do. I need them to stop thinking that I'm just going to fight them. They can hit me? Okay, thank you for telling me. You should allocate everything to blue. Well, we're definitely not leveling Vigor, I'll tell you that much. I won't lie. This is Invasion 3 on the quota. If we reach 5, we have to fight Margit. Which is fine. Honestly, we have a better chance of winning in Stormvale. Right now, I'm pretty much using the same strategy I plan on using once we're inside of Stormvale, which is to wait for the enemies to get somebody low and then pick them off. I hope that they're just oblivious and can't see me. No, he definitely sees me. Okay. How the fuck did that miss? Good. That was good. That was legitimately good. That was like three hits. No, don't run away! Why are PvE are so pussy? Please! I beg you, just die for me, baby! Kermit, you really are not looking good these days. Guys, I'm actually the most annoying invader of all time. I'm a light roll mage. Get hit by the ballista typo. Die immediately. Yes. I'm sorry, huh? Chat, this is so fucking stupid. Get fucking bonked. I won the invasion, I bonked you. These invasions are so cinematic. That's 51 damage. That was literally like 19 hits. Oh my god. No, 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 no. He almost backstabbed me. Fuck! That's four. There's no way he has five heals. If he has five heals, I don't even know what to say. Get kicked. <laughs> Kick him where it hurts. Wait, maybe if they just follow me here? Maybe? Just run across here. You know you want to. Just do it. Just do it. I know I'm the most annoying person on, on planet Earth. You would feel so good and ooey gooey inside. Oh my gosh, bro. Chat, we have a chance. Chat, we have a chance. So there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is we just got a Cerulean tier back. The bad news is that the host is now doing what Sypho did to us pretty much, but he has a great shield. No, if that was a friend, he'll try resummoning him. You have five heals? Oh my god. 47, that's better than nothing. Try the arc against the shield it might pierce. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm going to try that. It went over his fucking head. Oh my gosh. 
92. I appreciate it. I have to convince him that I'm actually trying to hit him, is what I have to do. Wait, let's put this in the offhand. So way I, that way I can punch him still. Forty-seven! That's like ten fucking fist R2s. Turn around so he can't hit us. Two damage through the shield, chat! We're gonna make it one of these years. Wait, I wonder if he's... If the wolves are alive. If the wolves are alive, we might cook him right here. Oh my god, he's not following me. Wait, what if we kick him? Will we be able to get a... A punish for that? Yes, just don't DC on me. I swear to fucking god, if you DC, I will actually, like, shit my pants. I need him to see that I'm at low HP, and to follow me. Yes. 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 Yes! Yes! Serenity has become my, my number one right now. No, you fucking beta male. You could kill me right now. Just block it. Thank you. Block it again. Oh my god, this spell is so shit. No, he learned how to roll. Fuck! He knows how to roll. We can't do it anymore. It's Jover, guys. It's Jover. It's Jover. He's refusing... I can't beat anybody with these shit spells! Please just let the wolves be alive. He, he attacks every single time he gets close. This guy's like a fucking AI. He does good know and I hate it. <laughs> You're right, it is time for the mind games. Hang on, hang on. You're right, it is time, Bronson. The dogs are dead. You have to be shitting me. The dogs are fucking dead. He didn't sit at the side of Grace. You have to be shitting me. Thank God we keep priority on that. Holy shit. You have to be shitting me. You are so bad. FUCKING CHASE ME! Okay, fine, I'm healing. Right now. Ten HP at a time, baby. This guy's helpless. I can't, bro. I can't, motherfucker. HOW ARE YOU LOSING LIKE THIS?! Oh my god, I pivoted. Oh my god, I pivoted. No, I'm fumbling. I could have taken the repost. I was so used to him not doing that, I didn't take it. Whoever said fucking kick in the pebble, I love you! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, I'm lightheaded. Oh. oh, I'm lightheaded. Now, while two out of three wins so far is truly amazing for how shit this character is right now, the biggest problem is that we've gotten almost nothing in runes from these people. We're at 263 fucking runes. We're 1,300 away from Carrion Slicer. That was a David versus Goliath moment. You owe me a mustache. Steve, shut up.
Invasion 4, can someone please just play the level without me having to do anything? Please. Just ignore my ex- Fuck! Just give me an area where people will die. Okay, he's right at the site of grace. It's another samurai. It's the brother of the guy who DC'd on us. Run up there. Oh, there's two of them. Son of a bitch. They're both samurais. Wait, he has the fucking DLC weapon. Someone dropped it for him. Oh, no. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a Jaeger to burn. Our moment is soon. We need them to get hit, and then we need to ambush them. Jake Montoya? No, don't run to the boss. Start attacking things. Shit. Don't boss fog me, I swear. That's more FP efficient, baby! Oh no. I don't have the poise for it. It does like po 20 poise damage, but I don't have that. Shit. Frostbite? Chat, this might be our first L. He's got fucking frostbite dry leaves and they're absolutely destroying all my teammates. I don't think we win this one. They're fighting them and they're actually doing good. Shit, he jumped over it. Chad, I don't think we can win this. No, we can't win. We can't win. Oh my god, I wish the Ballista was still alive so bad. Oh no. Guys, we have to finger sever. Oh no. Fuck, he's healed! I needed him to not do that. Thankfully, we're about to receive a miracle. God! Oh! He died to the PvE! <laughs> Chat! Four invasions, three wins! Oh my fucking god, he died to just standard Godric Knights! The PvE is the GOAT! The PvE is the GOAT! Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> WPVE, bro. WPVE, dude. Okay. We are at 312. Oh my fucking god, we're never getting this. Chat. This is the fifth and final invasion. Once we have completed this, we are forced by the boss quota to fight Margit. We have gotten fuck all when it comes to runes. We have gotten fuck all when it comes to runes. And literally the only thing we can get that would allow us to win invasions handily is carry and slicer. Carry and fucking slicer, bro. Gaston, you, you can invade at Liernia. Most overleveled are there. But Liernia is a dog shit area. People like are a little bit more intelligent there and they're just never going to die. I have to rely on people dying in the dumbest ways in Limgrave. That's what we have to do. Okay, chat. This is the fifth one, and then we're forced to fight Margit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get somebody completely clueless. Overleveled Kevin, completely clueless, gives us over 1,500 runes. Sagittarian King. We're looking at a fucking constellation, white girl. It's hopeless. We've lost already. Chat, we've already lost. We've already lost, chat. We might have received our wishes. 
He's fat rolling. He's fat rolling. Red flag astrology girl. That's exactly who it is. <laughs> Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Don't look this direction. I swear. Bro, if only I had the fucking human finger. No! No! Yeah, that's right. It's like a T-Rex. If you don't move, they can't see you. <laughs> if they're... It, bro, why are they standing around all suspicious like, bro? Just walk into the ballista, dude. Pretty please, just walk into the ballista. Just let it one-shot you and give me 500,000 runes. This is some fighter PL shit. <laughs> the retardus <laughs> the retardosaurus rex i can't bro and here we have the retardosaurus rex notice as he plans on walking through the pve of limgrave on his level 300 build the retardosaurus <laughs> the retardosaurus rex cannot see unless it is moving very fascinating. He stands there wondering what the red thing is. As far as he's aware, it's just a blood stain on the ground. What you using that for? Okay, he knows. Yeah, okay. They can see movement, guys. Jaeger teabags while running away. To provoke them, the Retardosaurus Rex is now on the loose. Yeah, they're waiting to gank. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> the overleveled Retardosaurus Rex is afraid of four Godric soldiers. Will you please, I mean, even if I die, can you just get the fucking show on the road? I have a Margit to fight, and you're wasting our time. They're ruining your fun? This is ruining my PvE experience. We're smoking on that co Consort Radon pack. That's fucking disgusting. He identifies as a lamppost. I think he's very intimidated, I agree. And here we have an animate lamppost. Antebellum looks into its one eye, wondering why it will not progress the level. The lamppost speaks its wisdom and says, Because I'm fat rolling. I... Bro, I'm about to send this guy a fucking PlayStation message asking him to kill himself <laughs> and get my PlayStation banned. Oh no, he fucking beat them all. We have to be friendly, chat. We have to be friendly. Go get him, man. Come on, Jet. Be... be <laughs> we have to support him. This feels like the Discovery Channel. You can do it! There's a ballista with your name on it! I know you can beat it! Come on, bro, you can do it. I know you can. Sagittarian King, your name is King for a reason. You can fight that ballista. If you think I'm gonna duel you, you are fucking out of your mind. And here we have the Retardosaurus. With his long arms, he is threatening to one-shot Antebellum, which is very sad. Lock on? Bro, you can run. One shot me. Just come here. Come on. Chat, why has this been every single invasion? You know you're running our once better, right? That is not that much HP. Chat, this could be our rune pinata. We have to endure now more than ever. We have to. They're running all the way back, chat. Actually, we may not have a chance at all. This is the new generation of Elden Ringers. 
Elden Ring Tards. Chat, this might be completely hopeless. Chat, I think we have to sever. I can't kill either one of them, and they refuse to play the level. All right. Chat. Yeah. They're about to get another overleveled phantom, and they're not dying to this. But if we endure, though... If we endure, though, we might get paid... We might get paid dividends. Maybe they'll chase with a third? That's what I'm thinking. Siri? Has the fucking Mesmer Spear. They're going the complete wrong direction. There's no chance of them dying that way. Uh, we've got to take this L, chat. Unless? Unless? Okay, we have to... We have to... Stand in. We have to play a very dangerous game here. We need to stand in front of the ballista to try and coax the host to get one shot. We have no chance against the fucking uh, phantoms unless they have no HP. We have to coax them. I tried being nice cop. Now we have to be bad cop. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Don't do that. Just, just right here. Right here. Right here. Shoot! 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 Why is the ballista not shooting?! Oh, he would one-shot us. If he were to get that combo. Why is the ballista not shooting? WHAT MOTHERFUCKER'S NOT ON BALLISTA DUTY?! ARE YOU ASLEEP AT THE JOB?! God damn it. Bro, they broke the ballista. I don't have a chance anymore. Bro, I'm firing his ass. You've gotta be kidding me. Bro, he's right there in your crossfire. SHOOT HIM! Wait, he woke up. He took his caffeine. He took his caffeine. Are you not able to use your weapon? Are you asleep again? Did the caffeine work for literally three seconds? My question to you is, are we going to get a miracle a second time? The host... Hannibal Jaeger has come to party. Bro, Bonk must feel so fucking scammed right now. <laughs> 84 runes. It was so worth it, chat. We've hit... We've hit the five invasion quota. We have to fight Margit now. Okay, chat. Do you guys think I can first try Margit with this shitty build? I think we can. Type 1 if we beat him right now. With this dog shit build. That's perfect, that's perfect. We get right here. One, two. There we go, perfect. I don't know what he does after that attack. Perfect. And since we're this far to the side, he's not going to use his dagger. I don't know what he does after that one, so I'm not going to challenge it. Yes. Yes. Just keep it rolling, Margit. I personally like the Margit boss fight a lot. I think that his moveset is a very good introduction into how the more difficult bosses in this game work. 
But the thing that we have to figure out is how we're going to defeat Godric. We definitely need to make sure that we're trying our best to win these invasions, so that once I get to where I have to fight Godric, that I'll be able to kill him. Because even if I put everything I have into the blue juice, I still do not have the damage to kill him, even if I try flawlessing him right now. Yes. No, that's his most dangerous thing. Oh my god. Thank you, Light Roll. I love you. You can punish his idling. The reason I don't is because he could just... Okay, no more hits. No more hits. No more hits. Oh my god, I'm, sh I'm selling so hard. Lock in chat. We have half a HP bar to go and no heals. If he uses any sword something, we're dead. Oh fuck, that's bad. We only get enough time for one after that attack. Anything that involves the golden sword is the worst thing ever. Lock in chat, we got one more blue. Lock in right now. Oh my god, that was so fucking close. First try, baby! Keep a track of the amount of runes. That lets us know how many we have to get rid of. 12,000. We have to get rid of 12,000. Mogged! Mogged! The little mage that could. But tell me, alright chat, go ahead and already say it bro. I'm more base than every other mage. I was actually like within melee range that entire time. Come on now. What mage is doing that? Alrighty, it is time to collect our four rewards today. First things first, we're going to spend the runes that Margit gave us and then discard all of those in the form of throwing daggers. And then we're going to move on to our rewards. The first of which is going to be the Physic. Now the one that you get right here that heals you by half will be kind of nice since we don't have a whole lot of healing, but we also are going to be mainly getting it to set up for better damage. So the one that we're going to get today is the Intelligence Crystal tier, which will increase our intelligence by 10, which is huge for these lower levels. Then we're going to go ahead and get a Golden Seed. Because we have a collective 5 tiers as of right now, having 6 in total means that it is divisible by 2, so we will effectively have one more in Invasions. Now I take note, unfortunately, that that guy just shot his buddy right there, and in a minute we're going to get rid of those runes as well. And we're also going to get the Blessed Dew Talisman, that way we have a little bit of longevity if we use our Crimson tier. Now we're going to get a number that is divisible by 20, that way I can just buy 3 arrows from the merchant right here and get our number back to 396, which is the measly amount of runes that we got for today. We didn't get the 1500 we wanted, but we will get there here eventually. All right. Hello everybody, thank you for making it through this ridiculous first episode let's finally enjoy the rewards that we have garnered so the things that we have gotten are going to end up being extremely important so right here this will allow us to have two cerulean tears in invasion and it will allow us to keep the one uh, crimson flask which i know this is the most dumb looking lopsided thing you've ever seen but this build is legitimately um yeah so, i mean perhaps you can understand if you read the rules so we're going to do that when it comes to our physic we are going to put the intelligence and the hp one in here obviously and then we are going to put on the blessed dew talisman and so when you factor all of these things in we are going to be able to do more damage due to that intelligence physic as well as potentially use some sorceries or sta staves, sta uh, <laughs> not staffs, uh, staves, 
that we wouldn't be able to use otherwise because as of current we only have 16 intelligence so technically for three minutes that would allow us to use things that go up to 26 and you know it would only last for three minutes but we would have to be absolutely certain like we would have to be absolutely positive it's now or never in an invasion and pop that so as you can see we did not spend any of our runes that we got today we did not get 1500 1500 plus a win for the scroll is what we need for carrion slicer and this build is completely helpless until we get carrion slicer that is objective number one and while we did win four times today which is very good we did not get a rune pinata hopefully we get one for next episode but we will make do with what we got all right well with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace